Hi everyone, it's Luke from Makers Empire. Thanks for joining me. Here at Makers Empire, we make a great 3D printing learning program for K to 8 schools, including software, lesson plans, a teacher's dashboard, professional development, and analytics. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to send a print to your Up 3D printer from the Up Studio software. This is the Up Studio software. From this software, we can control the printer, adjust printing parameters, and send prints to the printer. To begin with, we will click the Up button on the left hand side. The first thing we'll need to do is to load a 3D file. To do this, we click the Addition icon on the left hand side. We then have to find the STL of what we want to print. In this case, I'm going to print a robotic hand. Now we have our 3D file ready to print. If for any reason we would like to adjust the position, rotation or scale of an object, we can use the options in the top right like so. To rotate an object, click on Rotate and using the green and blue rings around the object, you can click and drag the object to rotate it. For more accurate rotations, we can simply click the angle we need. If we wish to move an object, we can click on Move and either click and hold the blue box and drag the object around, or click on the distance we need to move the object in the top right. For scaling an object, we need to click the Scale button. Then we can click and drag the yellow box to adjust the scale. If you happen to adjust the 3D object within UpStudio, be sure to click the Place button here. It will then place the object in the right spot for printing. Now that the object is ready, we can go into the Print Settings. To get to Print Settings, we need to click the Print button on the left hand side. The first option here is the Layer Height. This is the physical height of each layer of plastic being laid down. It will allow you to adjust the overall quality of a print depending on how detailed it is. Bear in mind though that the lower the layer height, the longer a print will take. For instance, an object printed at 0.1 mm layer heights will take roughly twice as long as one printed at 0.2 mm layer heights. For this print, I'm going to select 0.2 mm. The next option is the amount of infill you want to print. Infill is a honeycomb structure that gets printed inside the object to give it strength. The closer together the squares are, the more infill will be printed. If you hover over the options, it will tell you a percentage value. You can adjust this to change the print time if needed. For this print, I will be using the lowest infill setting of 13%. The quality option refers to the speed at which the printer will be going. The fast setting sets the printer to move quicker than usual and may lead to less detail on a printed object. However, the object will print quicker. The fine setting is the opposite. The printer will move slower, detail will be a bit better, but print time will increase. The turbo setting is reserved for large, low detail objects. It will print very quickly and will not worry about detail. For most prints, normal will work well. The final option is if we would like the printer to go to sleep once it's finished to print. This is good for overnight prints as once it's finished it will disable itself and save power. If you will be doing another print afterwards, you do not want to check the box. Now you have the option of doing a print preview or just sending the print job to the printer. The print preview will take all your settings, calculate the weight and time of the print and will tell you. If you just click print, it will do the same, but will automatically send all the information to the printer and it will begin. Once you click the print button, the software will start slicing the model. If you look at the top bar, you can see its progress. Once it has finished slicing the model, it will then send the model to the printer. Congratulations, you've just sent your first print to your up printer.